So what is the best budget graphics card for Red Dead Redemption 2? I've tested 5 of the most popular GPUs in 1080p, 1440 as well as 4K to figure this out. Let's have a look at the results. Now before we dive into the numbers, Red Dead 2 is very demanding. To reach a satisfying frame rate, I had to go into the settings and fine tune a few parameters here and there and what you're looking at right now is the exact settings I went with. Now I'm using high presets as a baseline with a few tweaks and this gives you a sweet nice mix between image fidelity and crispness without killing the frame rate entirely and with that said what system am i testing on i've got a ryzen 9 3900x running the most recent bios update the 1.0.0.3 abba provided by asus and as for the motherboard i got the raw crosshair 6x370 as well as 16 gigs of ram from corsair running in 3600 megahertz so i've tested five cores this time I've decided to throw in the brand new Navi RX 5700 but I also decided to throw in the slightly older GTX 1070 and the RX 480. Now obviously I'm running the most recent graphics driver from both AMD and Nvidia. Now for more technical details about the benchmark you can find that in the video description and as always in case you're interested to upgrade here based on how the game performs I've listed some of the top performing graphics cards for Red Dead 2 down in the video description and with that said let's first look at 1080p so with the resolution set to 1920 by 1080 you can see that the majority reaches the magic limit of 60 fps with the game set to my own customized high profile now for slightly older graphics cards such as the gtx 1070 and the oryx 480 dips below 60 fps will happen all the time so in case you're sitting on older hardware i highly recommend that you drop down the settings to at least medium and go from there now jumping over to 1440p the frame rate drop quite a lot when you set the resolution to 2560 by 1440 now the radeon rx 5700 and the rtx 2060 super are enabled to stay above 60 frames per second which can be problematic for heavier scenes and looking at the vega 56 and below i have a few recommendations for you you can either lower the settings a bit you can overclock your graphics card or you can simply uh, buy a new either from the used market or you pick up a new graphics card if you want to play at this resolution now finally at 4k this is a bit expected this is more like a slideshow than actual gameplay and it may not come as a surprise that 4k ultra hd is not <laughs> really playable at the high level of details for any of the cards i've tested today's hardware can simply not drive around this title in a comfortable frame rate so i guess we're gonna have to rely on next generations a used Vega 56 if you can find it cheap is a great 1080p card, 8GB of VRAM is also very nice. If you however got a little bit more to spend, right over $300 you can pick up the RX 5700 which is based on AMD's brand new 7 nanometer. Now as can be seen from this benchmark, the RX 5700 performs excellent in 1080p and even handles 4040p very well. The GTX 1660 Ti offers similar performance to the GTX 1070. The 60Ti does however come with GDDR6 memory which is faster than the 1070 so expect to see slightly higher numbers with a 1660Ti. This card does however play in a whole different league compared to the RX 5700 and it only comes with 6 gigs of VRAM. It's also a lot cheaper coming in at $260 and while having 8 gigs of VRAM would have been better it is still enough to not get bottlenecked by the nice looking textures. It also has has enough power to reach an average of 60 fps and 1080p if you're willing to fiddle around a bit with the settings anyway i've linked up great options down in the video description for more information so far the experience with rockstar's newly launched game client hasn't really been that great either i've actually seen a lot of reports coming in uh, from people having serious trouble to even get the game to actually start amongst other uh, weird bugs it's pretty bad right now now we can say from the benchmark is that the game requires a ton of GPU power for example in order to play at 4k with uh, lots of details you need an RTX 2080 Ti which is kind of ridiculous 
On the other side, if we decide to reduce the level of details, the number of frames can increase, but the game quickly loses graphical quality and all of a sudden it's not a very good looking game anymore. Below medium for example, the game start to look pretty ugly. But in case you don't have budget to pick up a new graphics card, there is always overclocking so and that, and that can definitely increase the frame rate for you. I'll leave a link to a GPU overclocking guide that you can check out if you wanna gain a few more or FPS. Anyway guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts on Red Dead Redemption 2. I cannot wait to uh, actually ditch the controller, which in my opinion was Red Dead 2's biggest shortcoming on console. Anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and until next time, have an awesome day, right?